In this session, we're going to review how to set up network automation and self-remediation using our native automation engine. At a high level, we're going to download and configure an atomic agent. This is an optional step because many of the actions can be executed via webhooks or APIs. Then we will define a simple atomic workflow that in this case, is going to change the status of a port in a network device. This step can be very powerful because we can define any kind of workflow to orchestrate change management on or very complex activities and workflow if needed. And finally, we will leverage this automation, this workflow that we have created in the previous step from the X operational intelligence to achieve automation from alarm analytics. In a nutshell, we're going to show the value of the native recommendation engine and show how we can remove NetOps complexity and realize the value of self-automation and self-healing. The flow of this automation is the following. The first step is to get insights into business service availability, including topology, where we can quickly detect which part of my infrastructure is degrading my business service. Then we can achieve alarm noise reduction and root cause analysis quickly with alarm analytics. This is going to help us to reduce and mean time to repair and mean time to detect. And once we have detected the root cause, we can leverage our native automation engine, which is enriched with ML driven capabilities and is going to recommend the best action to trigger to fix the issue. Once we have launched that action, we can explore in Atomic the workflow and we can see how Atomic can orchestrate different actions and changes in a very powerful and simple manner. So let's show end-to-end -end configuration to trigger a remediation workflow from Alarm Analytics or Service Analytics in DX Operational Intelligence. This demo is very useful for anyone who needs to achieve self-remediation in AI ops. So we're looking now at the landing page in the EX SaaS platform. From here, we're going to navigate to Atomic Automation. And this is our landing page for Atomic. From here, we can do administration tasks, define workflows, explore existing jobs and workflows, etc. We're going to start as we highlighted in the agenda by creating a new agent. So we go into the administration tab at agent. And in this case, it's going to be a Unix agent. This is going to be the agent from where we're going to trigger the script that is going to connect to a network device and do some configuration changes. But keep in mind that this can be any action that suits your automation or self remediation needs. So we give it a name and now we're going to download the agent. So the agent is just zip file. I have unzip it and we're going to run it now. Pay attention to the readme file that contains some useful information in case you want to further configure it. But with the out-of-the-box configuration, we're going to proceed now. So we go into the agent bin folder and we run it this way. And now we should see quickly how the agent will be authenticated and activated. There we go. Now it is, it is started and authenticated. So now we have an agent that will be our target to run the self reputation scripts. So now we're going to go into process assembly. And in this case, and the open access is going to create these cases. I'm going to create a new folder that is going to be my workspace network remediation. And inside of that folder, I'm going to start creating the objects that I'm going to define my workflow. Keep in mind that for this demo, 
I'm going to create a workflow from, from scratch, but you can always leverage Automic Marketplace or existing workflows to define your own remediations. So in the Automic Marketplace, you have a full set of packages that is, are going to help you to create, define your own remediations. And they are classified by solution area, products, etc. This is a great place to get started and to reuse existing packages for automation. So the first thing that I'm going to need, it's a login object. This is going to enable Automic to connect to my Unix machine and trigger the selected script. So I'm going to give it a name to identify it. And I just need to add the agent that I want to connect to it, user and password. And save. Good, so now we can proceed. And the next step is for the workflow is to create an object that is going to parse the fields from the alarm coming from AIOps. Remember, we will be having an alarm in the X operational intelligence, and from this alarm, we can trigger our recommended action. So the first thing we need to do is to leverage this object to parse the alarms and extract all the fields that we can use as variables in our job. So we select it, we add it, And for now, I'm just going to put a referral to the script that I'm creating. So this is a workflow. So remember, a workflow is just a sequence of, a logical sequence of objects. In this case, the first one is a workflow itself that is going to parse the alarm fields into from JSON to variables. And now we're going to add a job to take one or several of these variables and call our agent to execute a script. To that, I'm going to create a Unix job I'm going to call it like the agent name. And the attributes, I'm going to change this task generation at runtime. And we also need to identify the agent from where we're going to launch the action. And finally, in the process section, we just need to add the script that we want to trigger. In this case, it's going to be a very simple script that takes the IP from the alarm as input parameter and launches the self-remediation action. I have also added these three statements that they are just for to show the, the, the parsed variables by the first of the workflows and how we can leverage any field from the alarm coming from the expression and intelligence in our workflows. So let's save this object. We go back to the workflow definition. And now we're going to add the object that we have defined. And we connect it to the previous workflow. So quick recap, we have a workflow which is a logical sequence of tasks. The first workflow is a, is a workflow that it's parsing the different fields from the DX operational intelligence alarm into variables. And now we're going to leverage those variables in the subsequent Unix job. So very simple, straightforward. Just take the IEP field from the alarm and 
execute a script against that network entity to change the port status. So let's see now how we can leverage this workflow seamlessly from DX Operational Intelligence. So back to our DX platform landing page, we go into settings, automation, we can see how the atomic integration is out of the box enabled. And we can see here the filter that we're using to get all the available workflows from Atomic. This means that all the workflows actions defined in this folder are going to be used by as input in our recommendation engine. So if we click on test, we can see how the workflow that we have defined is coming up in the preview. And that means that this workflow is going to be presented as an option and the recommendation engine will learn from user feedback, will also learn from the response code of our workflow and it will start gaining confidence that this action is the most efficient to fix a specific root cause, a specific alarm in the X operational intelligence. So let's save and now let's see how we can trigger it from the X operational intelligence. So we have defined a business service called planning app. You can drill down, go into service alarm, and see that there are a couple of alarms with a port down condition, and how our recommendation engine is suggesting the workflow that we have created. It already has a confidence level of 100% as a result of several successful runs we have done before. So we can launch this action, and we can now explore the workflow in Atomic. You can see how it is executing. And if I click on refresh, I see how it has ended. And we can just open monitor and see what is output of the script. So we can see how it has connected to the specific switch that is being hit by the alarm, how it has changed the interface status, and it's also showing some of the variables that we define as eco outputs in the process tab of the Unix job. So good, the workflow has executed successfully. And now if we go back to the X operational intelligence, so we can see how the alarm is now gone. So I hope this session has shown you how to quickly set up self-remediation and leverage the value and the power of our recommendation engine.